Welcome to the Career Series, Career Services will see you in the future. Who am I? We often think or want our career path to look very linear, where we study something like psychology, graduate from university, apply for a job, and stay in that job for the rest of our lives. Sometimes it happens that way, where we see a student who studied psychology and they go on to pursue a career as a psychologist or someone studied accounting and they work as an accountant. But more often than not, we rarely see this linear progression and the likelihood of people changing career paths are so much higher than staying in the same job forever. So a more accurate depiction is that a typical career path looks like this with lots of twists and turns that show how our lives unfold. Our priorities might change, the economy and policies might change, new technology might come out, and all of these things are factors that can impact not only our life, but our career as well. The really good news is whatever you choose to study at university will equip you with the specialized knowledge, skills, and expertise, and all of those experiences can lead you to many different career paths. Your degree is flexible. You are not limited to pursuing just one thing with that education. So as you start thinking about your next career step and possibly pursuing university education, we encourage you to take the time to reflect on your interests. Think about what courses am I enjoying the most right now? What courses am I not really enjoying? What am I curious about? What do I want to learn more about? And what do I enjoy doing for fun? We also encourage you to think about your skills. I promise you, we all have skills. And these are the kind of things that will not only help you in deciding about your next step, but also information you can include on your resume. Think about what skills come naturally to me? What skills do I want to further improve? What do others say are strengths of mine? What skills have I gained from volunteer or work experiences? And what skills have I developed from my schoolwork? Ultimately, taking the time to reflect and learn more about ourselves will give us clarity about who we are and what we're looking for in a next step. For a fun and easy exercise, I encourage you to do our dream and nightmare job activity. All you have to do is give yourself two to three minutes to brainstorm all the things that would make a job your nightmare and then do the same thing for your dream job. The goal of this exercise is to just get brainstorming and identifying some of your interests and your dislikes. Give it a try. Once you are officially a Carleton University student, you will have free access to all of our services and Career Services is here to support you in every step of your career. We will see you in the future.